Now tonight, we are going to take time to celebrate some of our great accomplishments. The pride we share in our province shouldn't just be expressed during football games. We are often humbled. We are often humbled by the accomplishments of others. But tonight, and just for tonight, let's spike that damn football deep in the end zone. Let's celebrate. Brad Wall, let's celebrate. Saskatchewan has a great deal to be proud of. Now please join me as I rant on a few of the things that I'm proud of. First of all, let's be proud that Saskatchewan is the easiest province to draw. <laughs> Certainly made my life easier in grade four. Let's be proud of the people who came before us, people who shared their strength, knowledge, and compassion to overcome great adversity and achieve great prosperity. Let's be proud that we haven't lost our commitment to basic prairie values, to honesty, to integrity, and to each other. Let's be proud of family values. There aren't many provinces where a guy almost 82 years old would jump in a car and drive five hours just to watch his son MC an event, a political event at that, in southern Saskatchewan. Dad, I want to welcome you and thank you for that. And anyone who wonders where we get our values from, let's remember it's our parents. And I'm proud of the values I've inherited. Let's also be proud that in addition to our abundant, world-class resources, and over the years, some of our greatest exports have been our people, but that's in the past. Let's be proud that Saskatchewan has gifted the world with some of the greatest thinkers, community leaders, and innovators of all time. Let's be proud that Saskatchewan names are legendary in the world of sport, politics, academia, business, justice, art, literature, and adventure. Proof that we are indeed a very special breed of Canadians here. Let's be proud of our history as the first province to introduce Medicare, of our established role as a major producer of food for the world, and of our emerging role as a pioneer in science and technology let me assure you that the synchrotron was not a random event, and there are many I could spend a lot of time talking about. Let's be proud that we live in a place that still respects the values of a hard day's work and the importance and value of a handshake to seal a deal. Let's be proud that this land, which is as harsh in winter as it is beautiful in summer, has created some of the finest people anywhere, from the Aboriginal peoples to the settlers, people who are resourceful, respected, and solid to the core. Let's be proud of our Saskatchewan Rough Riders, one of the most successful sports franchises in the world, period. And now, and I'm staying on script with this one, let's be proud of two very special pioneers, two people who saw something that no one else saw. The first was the fearless drunkard, sitting in a bar who decided what football really needed was a watermelon on his head. <laughs> and then there was that master of origami who took a Pilsner beer box and said, this could be a cowboy hat. <laughs> These two visionaries have changed the way the world sees sports fans in Saskatchewan. Let's be proud. Let's be proud, as Premier Brad Wall has said, let's be proud that we consistently embrace hope over fear. We have patiently waited for our day in the sun, a day we sometimes wondered if it would ever come, but that in many respects we are just starting to enjoy right now. Let's be proud of our accomplishments, but let's remember that the game is far from over. Life is a journey, not a destination. Life has speed bumps, and we, as a party, have to be ready for whatever the world throws at us. And finally, let's be proud and show our appreciation to the man who has quarterbacked the Saskatchewan party from deep in his own end zone for the past seven years, a man with the kind of vision and persistence it takes to lead this province into and through one of the most prosperous times in its history. My friend, our guest of honor, our premier. Please rise and join me in acknowledging the presence of Honorable Brad Wall. Brad Wall. <laughs>